this morning we chat again to one of our favorite guests, the charming Maps Mapunyane. Maps has once again decided to be proactive and be a good Samaritan. With a joint effort, he is lending a helping hand to those disadvantaged community who are in need and he's joining us now via video call. Good morning, Maps. Welcome back to the show. Good morning. Thank you so much for, for having me. Uh, how are you? Good, good. I see you are rocking your, your face mask, you know, even being proactive in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, it's, it, we've been moving around quite a bit um, in and out of the, uh, from where I'm staying to different locations, and you don't want to ever forget it. So it ends up just being a bit of an accessory that you just need to remember to ensure that you have it as functional use whenever you need it ASAP. Otherwise, it's easy to forget. Definitely rocking it now. Talking about moving around, you have also been recently uh, involved with distributing food parcels with the Nelson Mandela Foundation and other organizations such as Ibumba Foundation and Kulisi Foundation. Why specifically did you decide to collaborate with these two foundations? Because I think you really want to be able to figure out um, how you can make an impact. Everyone's kind of um, wondering, you know, what, what can they do and for us, you know, for myself personally, although things have been busy still, um, there's a little bit more time at hand and this is what matters most. How can you help uh, be a part of the solution to feeding people that are in need? There's so many people who are already starving and suffering right now and to try and support as much as possible when you realize how privileged you are and just how lucky you are to be able to have a meal every day and have space and have a shelter. Um, it's important to go and reach out to lending hand to those people who may be living from hand to mouth or um, have lost their jobs or just can't last more than a week, let alone what's now almost been eight weeks of being in lockdown. And I think it's really important that we that we make, um, you know, make whatever kind of contribution we can to be able to make a difference. And I'm really, really inspired by how um, the Kolisi Foundation, the Bumba Foundation, as well as the Nelson Mandela Foundation came together and um, it just made sense to be with people who could leverage off of each other's different resources to make sure that as efficiently as possible they can go to these different communities and, and ensure that each of those people get the support that they need and get the food and, and parcels that they need to be able to, um, to survive. And the food parcels that we've made last um, each family a minimum of about a month, um, sometimes up to about three months, and they're quite substantial, and um, people have really, really uh, been needing them, and we've been happy to be able to, to provide them. And now um, I've been lucky to have been a part of uh, some wonderful organizations that that have collectively, now we've all been managed to, I think we've managed to feed 21,000 people now. Bless your heart. Speaking specifically about the Nelson Mandela Foundation, they are currently running a campaign whereby one can support a, an entire family for, like you said, a month. How much money is needed to support a family and what exactly does this money buy? So the campaign is called Each One Feed One. It's a wonderful campaign that was started by the Nelson Mandela Foundation. They kind of got the conversation going and got in touch with Richard Mabasso from Mbumba and of course um, then Sia Khaleesi as well with his wonderful Khaleesi Foundation together with Rachel Khaleesi. They're doing some amazing work there. And the idea was to really not cut any corners and think of what it is that each family would need to stretch themselves out as much as possible and get um, get the right kind of nutrition is something that we always take into account. Is there going to be the right amount of nutrition? And is it something that you'll be able to eat um, often while having variety and that will last you a long time? And in the food parcels, you've got mixed vegetables, um, maize meal, which is about uh, 10 kilograms of maize meal, uh, 5 kilograms of, um, of rice as well, there's samp, there is um, beans, uh, there's your different uh, cleaning products as well, so uh, that's also something that's, that we've made sure to, to include, be it um, soap, hand sanitizers, handy and the um, whatever it might be, products that you might need for the house, um, then there's pumpkin, uh, butternut, so all really massive sizes of uh, big packet of potatoes or whatever it might be, things that are all substantially sized that can last a long amount of time and not just five items that you're putting into a plastic. I understand that everyone would be grateful for that, but that's something that will just last someone one day, two days, maybe three days at most. And we're really trying to think of the most sustainable way to keep this going because 
you won't be able to reach the same people every single time. So how are you able to just mm. leave as much of a substantial packet um, or parcel that will allow them to, to stress it out as, as long as possible before you can help them again? And especially not knowing when they'll find a job again and not knowing when lockdown will be over. No, absolutely. How are people in South Africa able to contribute uh, during this time? We've managed to get all of that together per food parcel, 600 Rand feeds one family for at least one month. So all it is is 600 Rand to feed one family for at least one month. And you can go to the Nelson Mandela or www.nelsonmandela.org and you'll go to the each one feed one link and that will take you um, to the page where you can donate. Or you can go to the Colisi Foundation on online on, on Instagram and there's a link that will follow you onto their website there, places you can contribute. and. Uh, um, there's different places all around. Uh, we as Bursary Network are also running a fund as well on bursarynetwork.com that will contribute to the Nelson Mandela Foundation. And we're all just trying to individually raise as much money as possible um, to get people's collective 600 rands around the country, around the world, to, hope to hopefully create as many, many food parcels as possible. Maps, bless your heart. Thank you so much for being the Good Samaritan, for being the selfless person that you are. We, we love having you on the show and continue with all your efforts. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And stay, stay safe, guys. Well, we can certainly all take a page out of Maps' book and be a Good Samaritan.